Hi, I'm Kev from SonsOfCane.com and today's video we're going to be looking at a hung guard technique and it's going to incorporate a tiger strike with a hidden dragon strike. As usual, Chris is with me. Hi Chris. Hi Kev. So what we're going to do is look at this principle. Please bear in mind this is a technique. We are going to be doing entry techniques, exit strategies, etc. But it's a good closing technique from Hungar, but we've applied it to one of our karate katas as well. So you can see how things incorporate with this. And we're going to be doing it empty hand and we'll give it a go with the Cooper Tank. Don't forget to subscribe for videos each week and push the notification bell which will give you an email when we post new content. New content is posted on the Wednesday and the Saturday. With this technique we're going back for Hungar. So Chris is going to demonstrate the Tiger, which is the Distraction Strike, followed by a Dragon Strike. And as you can see, he's using the power of the arm coming over and throwing it away to then bring the rest of the body into play with the strike. That's empty hand. With the cane, you'll start to see some of the power come through. Okay, let's bring that in now. What we're looking for on this is that Dan is getting very, very close to Chris. So if they come in, now it can either be a point, it could be the splay position, or it could be even one hand grab ready to punch. So we look at Chris now doing the technique. He's got both hands up because in this day and age, we're giving up, we don't want any trouble. And now Chris will do the distraction the right arm goes into the pistol grip and then the strike comes in. As you can see with the distance, Chris is using the horn of the cane because it's such a short distance. But we go back to this position one again guys. What happens if Dan sees the cane coming and takes one step back? Now go Chris. Chris has got a mid shaft strike. Okay, back to start position. Dan is now going to take one step back and try and move offline. So go Chris. Opens up a different type of strike. When I put my hands up, I put this in the ready for the pistol grip. If I go into this motion, I've suddenly become aggressive. And if I'm standing here and lift this up, his reaction is going to be grab the cane. <laughs> and then we're into this whole wrestling match. This is in play. I'm getting fixated on this. So the reason I'm here is I'm defenseless. I may bring that down to support myself to do my strike before I throw. But this, you become the aggressor. You look like the aggressor. When it's down, it's not. Keep it here. Either bring it down, use it for support, to clear the arm, distract, and then you can bring it through. Throwing the arms round. As always, I like to practice with different mediums, so if I've got my trusty screen stick, or as we call them, tancons, so why he would attack me if I've got this, I don't know, but whatever it is, he's in my, I can do exactly the same technique, I'm still bringing it through, I'm whipping my arm down, I'm whipping this through. Nothing's changed, I'm still using this distraction, and then using that to generate my power. Same thing, I've got my Cougar Tang this time. Nothing is gonna change. I'm distracting, nobody likes things being flicked in their eyes. I'm using that to whip round, and I'm using this to drive in. So you can pick your targets. Nothing's changed, you're still getting this reaction. As from advice, some advice, I've got a tactical pen. So I can use this, if I haven't got a Cougar Tang, I've got a pen, what's gonna change? Nothing, whatever he's doing, finger pointing, in my space, I'm, please don't hurt me, I'm trying to cover the pen, but I'm doing exactly the same motion, and I'll be driving this in. I will stay away from the face and the head, but I'm gonna be using this to attack points as we would with the cane or a stick or a Cooper 10. With the wheelchair and the large cane, the technique still stands. We adapt it slightly. I've now got a top to mid shaft grab crook facing out, the finger point comes in, the tiger strike comes over, 
depending on how close she is, I can either strike with a crook, I can maybe grab, pull in, and attack from that position. Exactly the same principle, the hands coming over, the striking hands coming through. Thanks for watching guys, we hope you find this uh, technique useful. Please remember this is just a technique, there are entry techniques, exit techniques, we'll go through these as the channel progresses. This is just the start at the moment. So give us a thumbs up, drop a comment down below. Remember we are on Facebook, we're on Twitter and we're on Instagram so give us a look on those as well. If you haven't already done so, please subscribe. Don't forget to ring that notification bell. Don't forget, free the fear.